I've been on the hunt for an electric bike for a while now, so I was really excited when GoTrax reached out to us to review their F5 series foldable e-bike. I'm gonna be testing this thing out, unboxing it, and taking it on a road trip with my family. But not only are we looking at this bike, they also have kids' bikes. So we have an electric balance bike that my son is gonna open up and he's gonna test out for us. Let's do this. This e-bike had to be one of the simplest and most intuitive I've ever had to install. So this thing is pretty macho. We have the big fat tires on there, but the first step is just getting it out of the box. All right. All right, so inside the toolkit, we do have our little wrench for multi-tool accessories. We have our pedals and our charger. Really, the hardest part is just getting all the packaging off. And this is their luxury line F-Series. So we have bigger tires, bigger battery, and like beautiful brown coloring. Kind of reminds me of Bentley leather. Um, but you'll really see that once we get this thing opened up. All right, packaging is off. This thing is folded up. You can kind of get the overall size of what it's like when it's folded up because this could potentially go in your car if you're going on a road trip. You don't have to store this thing, you know, on a bike rack. It really saves a lot of space, which is something that we need in our garage. We have a tiny garage. We have three kids. We have all the electric bikes, the regular bikes. So having a foldable bike is really clutch for us. So after you get everything off, really the main step is just to install the handlebars. So we're gonna go ahead and get these out and then we're gonna take the stem and open up the quick release clamp and then put it inside of here. That's what she said. Honestly, I'm not making this stuff up. It literally says it must be inserted past the minimum insertion line. Those are the instructions. All right, we got excited and we inserted a little too soon. Um, we actually have to open up the clamp, fold it up first. Gotta use that protection. All right. So this is how you just kind of unlock it. And you can see the whole bike is like folded in half right here. So we're going to go ahead and straighten it out now. So you can see the full, the full effect here. Is there a kickstand? There it goes. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and lock it back into place. You can kind of see how this works. There's like a little um, lever right there that when you push on this red thing, it goes up. So you're gonna pull it back and it will actually click. There you go. And now it is locked in. Here goes the kickstand. That's a beauty. So basically, it needs to be anything above here. And I think that's probably good right there. Now, one thing to note is when you sit on the e-bike, sometimes it feels really different than a traditional bike, um, especially just the frame is different, so it takes some getting used to. Overall, it feels really solid, which is hard to believe because the second ago, it was folded in half. What I also like about this e-bike is how quick it was to install. The part that took the longest was just taking all the packaging off, and then it was just like, putting in the handlebars and folding it together, which is so cool because I can replicate that when we travel with it. Personally, I love the design and the color choices of this bike. The white with the brown accents just looks very high end to me. It's an aluminum frame and check out these tires. So these are 20 inch tires. They're four inches thick and they just are perfect for any terrain that you choose to go on. I'm a fan of these big wide tires. It's fun and you really feel sturdy when you're riding on it. The F5 has a twist throttle system with pedal assist ranging from one to five. Just lower the level of assist to increase how much effort you put in. And this also changes your speed anywhere from seven to 20 miles an hour. Even on bumpy roads, the wide tires definitely help make this a pretty smooth ride all around. But the front wheel suspension also makes for a premium e-bike experience as well. So it does come with a removable battery. So this thing is 14.6 amp hour lithium ion battery, and this will give get you about 60 miles of range, depending on obviously how much pedal assist you're using. We're gonna go ahead and charge this up with the charger it came with. So this is the charger it came with. This thing is 55 volts. It will take us about five to six hours 
to completely charge it and then we'll test it out. So what's kind of fun is it actually says if you were just gonna do full throttle the entire time, you could still go 20 miles. So it's kind of like a little mini motorcycle. Now it's a one size fits most bike with both handlebar and seating height being easily adjustable. The F5 has a max rider weight limit of 265 pounds. It's powered by a 500 watt motor and the bike itself weighs about 67 pounds. So this bike has front suspension, has dual disc brakes, and it's a Shimano seven speed bike. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the LCD display right here. We have a twist throttle. The LCD display is pretty straightforward. Hold to turn it on and the plus minus button lets you choose the level of assist. And you can also toggle between different info displays at the top. All right, so first impressions, this bike feels incredibly sturdy. It's so much fun to ride. I will say when you go between the different levels of pedal assist, there's a noticeable jump, but I don't doesn't seem to really bother me and I definitely have been having some fun testing it out. The F5 being GoTrax's luxury model definitely looks the part and it's a head turner too. I love the beautiful leather highlights and the classic look as well, but we'll test it out a bit more at the beach and give you my final thoughts. We're also bringing our V14 electric balance bike from GoTrax that's designed for kids five and older. The V14 has a 250 watt motor, mechanical disc brakes, and has a top speed of 15.5 miles an hour, so I know the boys are going to love this thing. Do you know what we're doing here? You're gonna push this button right here. Yeah. It's gonna light up. See, and then right here, this is how you throttle. Yeah. And then to brake, most important part yeah. is right here. If someone's in your way. Yeah, go. Okay. Give it a go. Wow, look at, he just got out right away. How do the brakes feel? Good. Now, was that scary at all, like getting going on it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit if you haven't a ride electric bike. But you have. Yeah. So we have done a couple electric bikes. Every time we go on vacation, yeah. we rent them and we try to find kids' electric bikes. That's why we're so excited about this one. With our e-bikes mounted and the smaller one easily fitting inside the car, we packed into our Model X and made the 400-mile drive to the coast. The 330 miles is plenty of range. Efficiency does take a hit when hauling bikes behind the otherwise super efficient Tesla. Our watt hours per mile increased by about 20%, going from its typical 315 to around 400 on this drive. A quick pit stop after about three hours of driving, and we were on our way to one of my favorite places to vacation and ride bikes, South Carolina's Low Country. If you've ever been here, you know about the endless bike trails, the mystical marshlands, and even the occasional gator to keep you on your toes. This is heaven. Take it out right there. I think, I think I got one too. Okay, so we are gonna go on a family bike ride. We have three electric bikes plus one just regular kids' bike. So they'll take breaks on the kids' electric bike. Liam's starting out on it. Um, I am so excited to test this out. Um, and of course I have color coordinated my outfit to my bike. Over the next few days, we each logged about 30 miles of riding into our bikes. And for me, what immediately stood out with riding the F5 was just how stable and confident you feel on this e-bike. The front suspension, coupled with wider tires, makes this one of the smoother and more stable e-bikes I've ever tested. <laughs> of course, with the 500 watt motor, you also get tremendous power on the F5. Now that not only allows for max speeds over 20 miles an hour, but also the ability to ride on just about any terrain. So Liam does not want to let anyone else ride the little electric bike. Because Liam is annoying me. Oh. He's okay. annoying us about ever. So anyways, we are gonna switch. Landon's gonna ride my bike, which is adjustable. And Landon's kind of in that in-between range anyways where he could ride the kid's bike or an adult bike. So I'm gonna lower the seat. We're gonna test that out. Another thing that separates this e-bike versus the others I've tested is just how compatible it is no matter your height. My almost 12 year old who is about five feet tall can easily fit on this bike with a quick adjustment on the fly. Go ahead and put this all the way down for Landon. Dude, that's actually like, you could almost go up higher actually on the seat. It feels really good. This thing, it just feels a little bit different getting used to it. Um, but curious how you control your range right here, plus minus. You've done e-bikes before. Um, this is if you want to give it like a, if you want to go. Yeah, that's your throttle right there, your belt. If you want to change your gears. There's gears on an electric bike? There is, yeah. So we have seven, seven different speeds right here that you can choose from. Honestly, I would just keep it somewhere in the middle. Why don't you test it out going up and down this road one time before we continue the bike ride? 
tend to hike on tires. Also has those nice big fat tires on it. So even though this is gravel, it should make him feel pretty stable. All right, now I'm supposed to ride this bike that Liam was previously riding before his meltdown. The things we do for our kids. riding this e-bike every day I do have a few takeaways. For how premium this bike both looks and rides, the F5 does seem like a bargain. I love how portable it is, being foldable also takes half the amount of space when you're storing it. It also adjusts to the size of just about anyone in your family outside of a very small child. I do wish the changes in assist levels were a little bit smoother as it feels a bit jumpy at times, but with the front suspension, disc brakes, and pretty incredible performance on all surfaces, something like this that retails for $14.99 is a bargain. GoTrax is running a sale right now and they've dropped the prices to $999, so it's a pretty compelling price point. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about the GoTrax F5. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.